going on y'all it is the caveman back at it again on the built-in buffalo youtube channel i'm very excited to be breaking down the newly released bill schedule for next season i am super super excited even though it's still a long time from now it just got us all back in the football mood and i just can't wait for football to return i really can't so the way i'm gonna do this is i'm gonna go through each and every game on the schedule i'm gonna give you a score prediction whether or not we win or lose and then i'm gonna do a degree of difficulty for that game out of 10 so like let's say we're playing the patriots and the degree of difficulty of that game for us is like a six or a five you know something like that to gauge how i feel about the game and how confident i feel like we are against that team so like when we play the chiefs the degree of difficulty as you would assume is going to be 10 out of 10 because obviously the chiefs are the chiefs they're an extremely good team they're a super bowl contender i think that makes sense right um just to be honest i really don't have any rhyme or reason behind most of the score predictions the score is just way too hard to predict i just kind of threw it in there just a random score prediction it's not really anything to be taken too seriously but the wins and losses and the degree of difficulty for for each game i feel like i put a little extra thought into so pay more attention to that than really the score predictions if you didn't know you know it now Mott's applesauce is the vibe you guys know the drill with the Mott's applesauce i love me some Mott's. you gotta eat your Mott's applesauce man you guys know the drill and let's hop right into this shit all right so let's go let's get right into this i have the schedule right up beside my head week one we play against the pittsburgh steelers i cannot wait to run them out of orchard park the pittsburgh steelers are going to be absolutely miserable this year and i can't wait until we embarrass them week one my score prediction for the game is 28 to 17 the degree of difficulty for the bills against the steelers is five out of ten i think they're going to be somewhat of a tough matchup only because it's the first week we're going to have a full stadium as well i think that's going to play a major factor into the game everybody's still going to be getting used to the climate the atmosphere once again so i think we'll struggle in the first half but then we'll start to roll on offense in the second half i don't expect the pittsburgh steelers offense to really do very much all year let alone against the bills defense so I really expect us to walk out of Highmark Stadium week one with an easy W. So after we kick the Steelers out of Highmark Stadium, we are going to be flying down to Florida to play against our division rivals, the Miami Dolphins. This is another game we really should not struggle with, in my personal opinion. I don't think Tua Tungavailoa is the answer for the Dolphins franchise. They seem to think so, and that's who they're building around. I think it's going to really backfire on them quickly. The degree of difficulty I have for the Bills in this game is just 4 out of 10. I really think Tua is going to struggle all year, especially early on when he's got fans all around him. He's going to feel the pressure even more. And now he doesn't even have his relief pitcher in Ryan. Ryan Fitzpatrick he's going to have to do it all on his own and I think the world is going to be shown that he just can't do it and I, re I really don't think Tua is an NFL quarterback I don't even think he's confident in his own skin on an NFL football field at this very moment so on top of that I just I don't think he's going to play well this year and I think it's going to show very early on in the season so a breezy 35 to 13 W for the Bills in week two week number three we get our friends the Washington football team this is going to be our biggest challenge of the season yet especially because of that defensive front we are going to struggle to block against the defensive front and I truly think it's going to eat us alive all game. The degree of difficulty I have for the Bills against the football team is 8 out of 10. It's definitely going to be one of our toughest challenges of the entire season especially especially because it's coming in the third week. We're all going to be getting on the same page still. We're still going to be putting things together. I think we're going to struggle in this game but ultimately we'll come out with the win 24 to 21. In week 4 we get the piss poor pathetic Houston Texans. Even if Deshaun Watson is the quarterback I have zero concern for the Bills in this game. The degree of difficulty I have for the Bills against the Texans is a mere 2 out of 10. This should be the easiest game on our schedule. Like I said, whether or not Deshaun Watson is the quarterback, we should truly have no issues if we're the team we think we are. A nice 42 to 24 victory for the Buffalo Bills over the Houston Texans so we can roll into week 5 against the Kansas City Chiefs with some momentum. Even though we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on our schedule later on in the year, I think this will be our hardest game of the season by far because we're getting it so early on. Week 5 is still early in the season to be playing against the Kansas City Chiefs, who dismantled us at the end of last year. I'm sure we haven't forgotten. Of course, like I mentioned earlier, the degree of difficulty I have for us in this game is 10 out of 10. This will definitely be our biggest challenge of the season, and I don't think it'll be even close. I think the Bucks will give us a pretty damn good game, but I do think the Chiefs are definitely going to be our biggest challenge, and I do think we are going to walk out with an L in this one. I think it'll be very early on in the season. I don't think we'll have all our kinks figured out yet. I think the Chiefs offensive line has got substantially better, and that really worries me because we already couldn't get to Patrick Mahomes, and we really, I mean, in all retrospect upgraded the pass for us but really didn't so i i mean who's to say how week five is going to go but i don't think it's going to be pretty for the bills it's going to be close we won't get blown out like we did early on in the season last year but we will ultimately lose but that's all right we'll roll into week eight against the tennessee titans and we will not let what happened last year happen to us again i think we will take care of business against the tennessee titans the degree of difficulty i have for the bills against the titans is eight out of ten simply
simply because I think we are once again going to struggle to stop the run. I really hope I'm wrong, but Derrick Henry is always going to roll over whoever he's playing against. Our run defense has certainly improved, but I mean, it's, it's so freaking hard to stop Derrick Henry. I mean, I'm not just talking about any old run game here. I'm talking about Derrick Henry and the Tennessee Titans run game. I don't think he's going to run for 250 yards and four touchdowns by any means, but I do think he's going to be the driving force of their offense as he usually is, and I think it's going to give us issues. But on the flip side, their defense is miserable. Our offense is extremely explosive. We will put up the points we have to and ultimately come out with a victory. Week 8 will get a little bit easier of an opponent with the Miami Dolphins. I don't think it's going to be a breeze of a game. I think the Dolphins are going to come out fighting just because they got blown out against us early on in the season. But I think Tua is still going to be struggling on the offensive side of the ball. I think their defense will stymie our offense just a little bit more, but I do think that Tua is not going to be able to move the ball against us, ultimately walking out with the Bills' victory. I upped the degree of difficulty for the Bills in this second game against the Dolphins because I do think they'll make adjustments. I just do not think that the Dolphins' offense is going to put up any points. I think their defense will stiffen up for sure, but their offense is going to be their downfall this entire season. Week 9 against the Jaguars is going to be an interesting game. I have the degree of difficulty only at 3 because their defense is that putrid. I think we're going to blow them out of the water on the offensive side of the ball, and they won't be able to keep up because their defense is that bad. I think our defense will shut down their offense relatively well. I think their offense might be okay this year. Only time will tell. We'll see how Trevor Lawrence is able to pan out in the NFL for his first year. But with that being said, I think we'll take an early lead, and then they'll kind of start to push back a little bit near the end of the game, but they won't get anywhere near close to winning, and it'll be one of our easier games of the season, and we'll walk out with an easy victory. Week 10, we get our friends, the New York Jets. Um, This should be an interesting game as well. I have the degree of difficulty against the Jets at 5. I do think the Jets will be a little more of a threat than we're all expecting. I think Zach Wilson is going to play well in that offense. I think Michael Carter is going to take over that running back room. I think they're going to have a decent offense. They got Elijah Vera Tucker. I do think the Jets are looking a little bit dangerous. Not really this year, but they will definitely be in a couple of years. They loaded up on defense in the draft, and I do think those guys will take a couple years to develop, and I think in a couple years that team will be very good but as of this year they'll still struggle to put it together i know the score is relatively close but i do think it's going to be you know a lot more lopsided than the score really perceives i think it's going to be another field goal fest like it was a couple years ago or was that last year was it a field goal fest last year either way one of the games against the jets not too long ago was a field goal fest and i kind of expect the same thing week 11 against the colts is very subjective and i say that because it's very dependent on how you personally view carson wentz's season i do think he's going to have a very big bounce back year in that offense and i think the colts are going to be very very good Super Bowl contenders in this coming year. So if you personally think that Carson Wentz is once again going to struggle, then you might think the Colts are not that big of a threat. But I personally think Carson Wentz is going to have a very good year. They did very well with Phillip Rivers. I think they're going to do even better with Carson Wentz. With that being said, the degree of difficulty is at nine, and I do think they're stronger against our weaknesses, and I do think we're ultimately going to take our second loss of the season. We got them in the playoff game when it was most important, but I do think they're going to get revenge on us in the regular season this year, and that's not going to be the end of the world. It's only going to be our second loss it's going to be a good test for us going into the playoffs because I would not be surprised if we met up with them once again. Coming off a week 11 loss, I think we're going to bounce back against the New Orleans Saints and really beat up on them. I do have the degree of difficulty against the Saints at seven only because I think they have a lot of playmakers. It all depends on whether or not they use them. For some reason, Sean Payton loves Taysom Hill more than anybody in the world. It will never make sense to me. And I think if they really try and stick with him, they're going to struggle all year. That's very dependent on that, but I do think we'll win the game regardless. Bills bounce back after that week 11 loss, beating the Saints. 30 to 20 in week 12. Now we're getting down the final stretch of the season. Week 13, we face the Patriots for the first time. And I think we're going to mollywop the Patriots in the first matchup. I truly do. I don't know if it's going to be Mac Jones or Cam Newton, but either way, I think we're going to kick the Patriots ass in the first game. And I have the degree of difficulty at five. Even with the Patriots signing all those guys on offense and returning all the guys off the COVID list on defense, I do think we're going to run them out of the building in the first time we play them. But once we get around to the second game, I'll explain my feelings about that one. Week 14 against the Bucks is going to be a doozy obviously i have the degree of difficulty at 10 this team is good they're the reigning super bowl champions run by tom brady they have a bunch of superstars need i say more the tampa bay buccaneers are going to be a tough challenge and i do think they will take us down for our third loss of the season i think our offense is going to struggle the most that it's struggled all year against this tampa bay defense that pass rush is just it's so unbelievably good. Like, after what they did to Patrick Mahomes in that Super Bowl, I've never seen anything like it. They were all down his freaking throat. And I think it's going to be the same case against us in that Week 14 game. But it will be a good challenge. I don't think we'll get run out of the building by any means. It'll be good practice for when we go up against them in the Super Bowl. Right, guys? 
Week 15 against the Panthers is going to be an interesting game. I have the degree of difficulty at five because I'm not too sure what to expect of the Panthers. I don't know how good their offense is going to be. I don't know how good their defense is going to be. That team is looking a lot different than it did last year. Regardless of how they're actually going to be, I do think the Bills will be the better team at the end of the day, ultimately resulting in a win for the Bills in week 15. Week 16 against the Patriots, I have the degree of difficulty at seven because I think they're going to be shocked that we absolutely smoked them in the first matchup. The second matchup, Bill Belichick is going to come with adjustments and he's not going to want to lose. Regardless of if it's Cam Newton or Mac Jones, I think the Patriots are still going to be a relatively competitive team all season. And I think in the second matchup against the Bills, Belichick is going to have made adjustments and I think we're really going to struggle, not on the offensive side of the ball, but I think we're going to struggle to stop them on defense. Either way, we're the better team. 27-21 victory for the Buffalo Bills in Week 16. Week 17 against the Falcons. I think this game will be a little bit of a shootout. I don't think there's going to be much defense played by the Falcons in this game whatsoever. I have the Bills walking out with a 45-31 win, but the degree of difficulty only at 6 just because of the defense that the Falcons have. It, it's pretty much non-existent. Week 18 against the Jets. We play our season finale against our division rival. I think we'll be able to win this game with ease. We might be playing backups at that point of the season. I hope we're playing backups at that point of the season. You always love to see that. I do hope that we are in a comfortable enough position where we're able to do that. So I think the score is going to be a little closer than the game actually perceives just because we're playing backups. Either way, degree of difficulty at five and we come out with a W for the season finale. So with all that being said, 14 in three season is my final prediction. The 17 game stuff is kind of screwing me up. It's very weird to say 14 and three. It's very, very weird to say that. But nevertheless, the Bills are coming out of this season as the AFC East champions once again, going into the playoffs being a heavy favorite to go to the Super Bowl. I truly think we're going to be heavy favorites heading into the playoffs. Even though we'll be taking losses to three very good teams that are going to be Super Bowl contenders as well, I do think that's going to fire us up going to the playoffs. I don't think taking losses to those teams is going to be the worst thing in the regular season. Either way, those are my predictions for the Bills in 2021-2022. It is going to be one hell of a season and I cannot wait for it. On my personal channel, since the full schedule has been released, I'm going through each and every division and giving my win-loss predictions for each team in each division in every video. So if you want to go check those kinds of videos out, I will be doing those on my channel. Either way, I hope you're excited for the season just as much as I am. I'm sure you are. I'm sure everybody watching this video cannot wait for Bills football to return. I, I just want football back, man. And it's still so far away. But nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please like, subscribe, do all the fun stuff. Make sure you follow Built in Buffalo and any social medias you may have. Be sure you're sticking around for all the good content that we have coming out on this channel. Tons of great content creators that we have on the Built in Buffalo team. So be sure you're subscribed. Be sure you're following on every social media platform. And I hope to see you not only next week, but maybe on my personal channel as well. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.